For years, I've been trying to gain followers and build a personal brand. I actually started in 2013. I still remember when Instagram just came out, I did a like for like and follow for follow. However, this was obviously not professional and so I tried out multiple other things because I really wanted to become a content creator so bad. And then at some point I finally found out how to go viral, how to gain followers, subscribers on various different platforms and this is how I finally reached 100,000 followers on Instagram. Hey everybody, it's Rico Go, and in this video I'm talking about how I was able to grow from 2000 followers to over 100,000 followers in just a matter of a few months. Alright, so this is pretty interesting. If you scroll down my Instagram, you will see that my very first videos actually didn't pick up at all. I just uploaded random videos and I hope to go viral, but hope is not enough. I realized that I have to step up my content game, create better content and go the extra mile in order to accomplish my goals. And I knew that short videos, so basically reels, are the best way to grow a new account because even if you don't have any followers, if the reel is good, you can reach potentially millions of people. And so I uploaded about two to three reels every week on my Instagram account and with every new video I got better and better. But. At some point I said, listen Ricardo, I have this goal of becoming an influencer and content creator for so long now. So let's just do what is really necessary and upload one video per day. And from that day I uploaded one new reel every single day to my Instagram account and I wanted to see what the results will be. And well, the results are that I just crossed 100,000 followers on Instagram, finally, woo! <laughs> but uploading a lot of content is just one side of the coin. The content obviously also has to be good. And for that, you need to identify at least one topic that you're very good at, something that you know a lot about, something that you did or something that you accomplished that other people are interested in or that other people want to accomplish as well. And then you create content that is either entertaining or educating. And something that is very interesting is that every account on Instagram has one specific content type that works very well every time you upload a similar video. This can also be a topic that works very well every time you upload a video about it because the algorithm already knows that you're an expert in that topic and so it shows the video to your audience and potentially even more people. And for me that topic is basically Cyprus and cats. <laughs> But more on that in a minute. I left Germany, I moved to Bali and Cyprus and so I created videos about my journey and I also explained how other people can do the same. I also created funny videos about the life here in Cyprus that everyone that lives in Cyprus can relate to and so these people were also engaged with the content. I was doing jokes about life here in Cyprus and at the same time I was also talking about the tax benefits here in Cyprus if a digital nomad for example would move to Cyprus. So my strategy was to mix entertainment with education and create general content about Cyprus. With this strategy I had a linear growth. I grew from about 1000 followers that almost everyone has to about 9 to 10,000 followers in a time period from January until August. Most of these followers are actually Actually, almost all of them were obviously located in Cyprus because I was creating content about Cyprus or people that think about moving to Cyprus and this is how people started to recognize me on the street. As Cyprus is not the biggest country in the world and we have a population of just 1 million I think this was pretty obvious. But then in August something happened. From August until December I grew from about 10,000 followers to over 100,000. And now I'm going to explain to you exactly how I did it and why I could do this a million times again. So as some of you know I rescued a kitten and I documented the journey of this little cat on my Instagram account and I created little vlogs about it and this showed me how important 
storytelling is and building a relationship with the audience. Prior to the CAT series, I created standalone videos. So videos without any connection to the other videos and people like the reels. Yes, it made them laugh or it helped them move to Cyprus, but there was nothing deeper. But with rescuing the kitten, I created an emotional story that people wanted to follow and they wanted to know what will happen in the next videos. Because with every new reel I talked about something new and this is what people loved so much and this is how I generated over 200 million views across Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. But at some point I decided to focus more on my personal lifestyle again here in Cyprus and so I combined my own life with the life of the cat. And I found the perfect path, a win-win situation for both audiences and doing what I love. I'm now able to talk about whatever I'm personally interested in and people appreciate my honesty because I now have a much wider audience. I started with the Cyprus content, but because of the videos with the cats, I reached so many more people because obviously not everyone is interested in Cyprus, but cats own the internet. This right here, the Cyprus content was necessary in order to grow to my first 10,000 followers, but then I needed a bigger, total addressable market and for that, something like cats is just perfect. And I still can't grasp the fact that all of this just happened because of this big coincidence that I found this little kitten on the street and I decided to rescue her and make a video about it. And yes, of course, I would also help her without the video. It just happened that I also recorded the whole process. And the biggest lesson in all of this was to understand the importance of storytelling. And in addition to that, because I was still uploading daily reels, I became so good at scripting, creating the perfect hook to already engage with the audience in the first three seconds, then have a body content about the actual story and then create a cliffhanger so that people are already looking forward to the next video. Crafting a storyline is essential to build a real community and eventually go viral, but the good kind of viral, because you can also go viral with a standalone video, with something that you did that is just super funny. But people don't really remember this one video. It could work, yes, but it's much better to create a storyline so that people come back just for you and what you have to say. This is also much more scalable, by the way, because if you look at my content, you will see that everything is connected and also very similar. If you have a super funny video where you do something completely funny, yeah, that might get a lot of views, but how do you want to connect on that? Because you cannot just replicate this video and do something similar again. Anyways, the most important thing is to actually upload some videos. Even if it is the super funny thing, it will help you to get the momentum to uploading content. And then down the line with each new video, you will learn something new and then you can implement that in the new video and become better and better. Even I did hundreds of content pieces and content formats and talked about different topics before I actually finally reached 100,000 followers on Instagram. And actually, I'm already strategizing a completely new content plan for my personal brand and I'm super excited to show it to you in the near future. One year from now, my content will look completely different again because I'm evolving with my content. I always say you need to create, upload, analyze, learn and then evolve with your content. And for that, I actually recommend you to write down your brand guidelines who you are, what your brand stands for, what are your goals and what do you want to accomplish with your content? Do you want to be funny, serious, entertaining, educating, down to earth, super cocky? It all depends on what you want to do and definitely focus on being yourself. Don't try to be someone else because I tried that in the past and it doesn't work. As soon as I became the best version of myself, how I really am, just then I started to gain followers. We humans are so good at understanding people and reading body language. And if we see someone who is clearly faking something, then the chances of us following them is very low. And so don't try to fake something and to be yourself. And no, it's not important what kind of equipment you have because I personally have a 2000 euros camera, a 600 euros microphone, a 500 euros light setup, but the most viral videos are the ones I shot with my iPhone. <laughs> 
the most important thing is that you create a plan and you act upon it. If you want to upload daily videos, you should do it for as long as possible. I did it for six months and just then I reached 100,000 followers on Instagram and I know that you can achieve it as well. You just need to have a good content strategy and evolve with your content. And if you want to know how I create viral videos with millions of views, definitely watch this video and I will see you there.